Whether you have internal or external mounted pumps, the point at which liquid is being drawn needs to meet certain design requirements. Now, there's an extensive list of design criteria to be met. However, within this section, I'm going to highlight just some of the main design considerations when designing your wet well. First up, venting. If particles are allowed to build up within a wet well, this can cause further issues such as blockages and increased motor strain. By having a steep slope of 45 degrees or higher that leads towards the point that the pump draws liquid, this helps to prevent settlement in the wet well and allows the liquid and particles to be removed from the well. Pump starts and operating volume. To avoid motor damage, all pumps have a maximum amount of starts that they can do within an hour. If you can imagine you have an incoming flow of 10 litres a second, then the time it will take to fill a metre cubic tank will be 100 seconds. Now imagine it's 20 litres a second, then it will take 50 seconds to fill. 30 litres a second will take 33 seconds, 40 litres will be 25 seconds and so on. Now imagine the outgoing flow rate is 100 litres a second. Then the time it will take to empty the cubic metre tank will be based on the difference in flow which means the equivalent reduction rate will be 90 litres a second and will take 11.1 seconds. 80 litres a second will be 12.5 seconds and again and so on and so on. Now what this table shows us is the time it will take from pump stop to fill the wet well to pump start and then empty the well to pump stop again. And as you can see the quickest time between start stops is when the incoming flow rate is half the outgoing flow rate. When looking at this in terms of formulae, the time between starts or stops can be seen as the volume over flow in, which is the filling time, plus the volume over the difference in flow out and flow in, which is the emptying time. Now, as we discussed, the fastest time between starts is when flow in is half of the flow out. So the formula can be rearranged to this. With a few more rearrangements, you eventually end up with time is four lots of volume over flow out. Now, to make the best use of this, we're trying to find a minimum operating volume, which is flow and time over four. And with a given diameter and given top water level, we can begin to work out the levels within a sump. Top water level based on freeboard, which tends to be a certain level between the ground level and the maximum water level. However, in some cases, like those moving dirty water, this will result in surcharging of incoming pipes and may not be acceptable, in which case the freeboard should be below the incoming pipe. Not every wet well requires this. However, in certain situations, the next level to be considered is the emergency storage volume, which tends to be based on a set time to allow the pumps to be out of operation. So, as an example, if you have an average incoming flow rate of 0.5 meters cube per hour and you believe that two hour emergency time is suitable to install replacement pumps or repair the pump unit, then you will need a meter cube of emergency storage. If you have more than one pump in the wet well, then just below this level is where you will have the standby start level. Similarly, if there is an assisted pump, then this level is next and followed by duty start. Now using the formula, operating volume allows you to work out the stop level. If this is an assisted pump, then this will be the level for the assisted stop. If there is no assist stop, then this would be duty stop. However, in a situation where there is an assisted pump, then it is very important not to have all pumps stop together and the duty pump stop level is below the assisted stop level. Finally, there's a few systems that require what is called a snore cycle. Now, this is usually an extreme low level set to remove any last debris or fog and is drawn down on a schedule such as once a week for 15 seconds. However, the frequency and duration must be discussed with the pump supplier as all pumps operate differently.